finally we have purchased a decent sized trailer no more renting a u-haul for a day and rushing to bring it back we've got a trailer we can fit a car plus whatever else we want so let's just talk about the trailer it is a 24,000 pound i don't know if this classifies as an equipment trailer but it's a flat deck trailer and uh it's 30 foot long so let's just take a tour of it that's where you're hook up to your truck it's got two chains no chains. did i mention the year it is we got a good deal on it i'm not we don't talk prices here but it was a 2016 and you can tell by the tires because the 2016 the tires on this thing would be probably the original tires and there's not much wear on them at all so besides a little bit of rust which it makes it look older than it is really that's just from stone chips off whatever was pulling it and it causes rust so it's like barely used chains your hook up here which maybe shouldn't be hanging like that a little bit of corrosion starting in there already should cover that up um, it's got a thing here it's already loaded full of, full of straps it's a good five or six straps in there for now didn't come with a key so you can seal our straps um, the handle -y thing It's a, a treated wood deck and 16, 16 inch uh, tires. They are, the axles are 12,000 pounds each, which makes it a 24,000 pound uh, trailer. I guess that means the weight of the trailer does impact that 24,000 pounds. So really you might be able to put 17,000 pounds, which is all I'm allowed to tell. And they're not they're not like uh, electric or hydraulic ramps, but they do have uh, they are spring loaded. So I, I I'll show that. I'll, it's kind of too far in. And it's full of snow. I want to crack the concrete, Chris. You did. So yeah, it doesn't slam, slam, because as you can see, springs, and you got lots of room for adjustability here. At least a foot you can adjust either way. So you can fit a dually and you can fit your lawnmower on the same trailer, and it helps you up to about there. And then you just try not to slam it, but. LED, all factory LEDs. I guess it was originally bought from these people. Mud flaps, brakes. Uh, yeah, so this is what the Fummins will be pulling whenever we go to car shows and uh, need to bring something because it's broken anywhere. So yeah, we'll have some videos of pulling not necessarily heavyweight, but I'm sure we'll have a video within a year or so pulling the max weight that my truck's allowed to pull. Let's be real here, everything we own breaks. So we really need this trailer. So now, since the Thummins is pulling this, we had to buy a fifth wheel hitch, which we're going to install right now. Let's go. So in order to pull that trailer, you need a gooseneck hitch, which is basically just a plate with a ball that goes on your rails. I think most new trucks come with rails, if I'm not mistaken, or they should at least, if you're buying a dually, better be able to tow. So anyways, we picked this up yesterday. I, I, I borrowed one just to get the trailer home, but now I bought one. So four pins you need to hold it down. Twenty-five thousand pounds. 
which is a lot more than the capacity my truck can tow. Hold on. Hold on. It comes with the pins. I got a second set of pins. Oh, Napa. They're like, oh, you need pins with it. Yeah, and then it sold me an extra set. Oh, man, this is heavier than the one that was on there. So, take one set of pins. This legit is got to be at least 50 pounds, maybe more, maybe 60. Okay. Let's put a ball reference. It's a little bit bigger. This is a two and five sixteenths, and that's a two and a quarter, I think. Two. towing capacities and stuff? Sure. So, this hitch is good for 25,000 pounds. And you might be thinking, well, the weight rating of this pickup truck is 25,000 pounds, which, yeah, that's right. It's 24,000 and something. But you have to remember that weight rating includes the weight of your truck. So, to be safe, let's say it's not that heavy, but let's say the truck weighs 8,000 pounds. It's probably more like seven or 7,500. Um, that means you minus that weight of your truck from that 24,000 pounds, and that gets you like 17, 18,000. Then you have to remember that trailer we just bought weighs probably in the 7,000 plus pound range. So really, you can only put 10, maybe if we actually figure it out, you might be able to squeeze 10 or 12,000 pounds on that trailer legally. So really you're only pulling it's, this is rated for 25,000 pounds. You're really at the most, you're only going to be pulling 17 legally. So this is plenty strong. And the trailer is overkill too because the trailer, the trailer is a 24,000 pound trailer. So because this is a long box, like this can actually go both ways. See how it's off center? So if you had a short box to push more weight further forward, I would install this this way. But because this is a long box and I don't want to, when you turn, you don't want to hit your truck against the trailer itself, like jackknifing. So you want, on a long box, you're going to want this, this way. my pants <laughs> I sure did both my wallet doesn't fall out I might need some assistance maybe they're not made all exactly right or it's more likely my trucks a little off I had to use a crowbar to get the last one out your trucks off the last one I got in by hand though We'll cut back when it's in. So, to get that in, we used a hammer and some brain cells. We were able to figure it out. It was definitely tighter than it was supposed to be, but we'll consider it a good thing. Look at that, shine up. Now these. Should just go through like that. Take your cotter pin. Just like that. 
to that through up to all four. So if you guys tow with your trucks, let me know. You guys tow fifth wheel, gooseneck, bumper tow. Also, I know nothing about brands when it comes to uh, stuff like this. This is Kurt. That's apparently what Napa Napa carries, so it must be decent. I don't. I know nothing about this kind of stuff. All I know is I'll probably be towing more than I'm allowed. You're gonna add that out, right?